Yesterday, a DeFi protocol was exploited for over nine figures. What happened exactly? Let's get straight to it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wujaha and yeah, something incredible happened. Another DeFi exploit. Seems like every single week something is happening. Uh, quite sad to see really, but I wanted to just kind of talk through it, kind of explain what's happened and talk about governance as well because there's quite a controversial thing that's happened. So what exactly happened? Well, Mango Markets, uh, one of the largest protocols on the Solana network, uh, you can go to it by going to uh, this platform here, Mango Markets, um, they were exploited for over $100 million yesterday. How did it happen? Well, there was a user who had two accounts funded with around 5 million USDC in each account, and they took an outsized position on the Mango Governance Token Perpetual, which you can find on this platform. They have perpetuals on this platform, and they took an outsized position and were able to kind of manipulate the price from, you know, fractions of a, a cent all the way up to a dollar. And obviously with the perpetual, you have leverage. And in doing so, they were able to make an unrealized PNL of, you know, four or $500 million. And the thing is on that on this platform you can take out loans against that and so this user was able to take out a loan against that 500 million dollar uh, unrealized pnl and basically borrow all of these assets uh, and was able to maximize around about 100 million dollars worth of assets loaned they drained the entire protocol they drained the entire liquidity of the whole protocol and you can see here if you look at just look at the liquidity there's literally nothing left um on all of these assets so yeah that's what you know that's what happened um 100 million plus was lost and it's pretty sad because normal users who kind of use mango day to day who used it to trade they've lost their money um you could argue that it wasn't even a hack really because the user was pretty smart with how they did it they understood the mechanisms of the protocol and all they did was use their funds that they already had to buy their perpetuals okay yes they did manipulate the price of the mango token but you could argue they did it within the laws within the rules of the protocol they didn't actually do anything wrong they didn't hack into the protocol or anything like that they just used it and because of the way the protocol worked they were able to take out these huge loans so sad it's pretty sad that that's what's happened but you know that is what's happened and you can't actually use the protocol anymore they have kind of put a stop to it for the time being uh and you know you just you can see kind of what happened they kind of manipulated the price up was able to take this crazy unrealized pnl where they're able to basically borrow everything off the platform uh and then you can see the price you know come all the way down once everything was sold off um this has happened before. I've seen something, things like this happen before. You know, the Mango team, uh, they said that the net value extracted was around 100 million and deposits obviously paused or stopped for the time being. Uh, and they're trying to kind of prevent unnecessary further losses, uh, make, trying, trying to make the protocol whole um, and they're trying to salvage some value from the DAO. Now, so that's what's happened. The protocol's finished at the time, you know, at the moment. And then, really interesting thing, and this is kind of a little bit controversial, and this is kind of what I want to talk about, uh, is from the Mango DAO. And if you go to the Mango DAO, you can see there is a proposal here by the user themselves, and this is what they had to say: "We pay bad debt." Hi all, the Mango Treasury has around se has about 70 million USDC available to repay bad debt. I propose the following. If this proposal passes, I will send the MSOL, SOL and Mango in this account to an address announced by the Mango team. The Mango treasury will be used to cover any remaining bad debt in the protocol and all users without bad debt will be made whole. Any bad debt will be viewed as a bug bounty insurance paid out of the Mango insurance fund. By voting for this proposal, Mango token holders agree to pay this bounty and pay off the bad debt with the treasury and waive any potential claims against the accounts with bad debt and will not pursue any criminal investigations or freezing of funds once the tokens are sent back as described above. Now, it's really interesting, you know, this gentleman or, or lady, whoever it is, wants to kind of get away with this. I mean, I could argue that they didn't actually do anything wrong. Uh, they used the protocol as, as intended. But either way, wh whatever happened, 
they want to avoid any criminal investigation or freezing of the funds and essentially they're going to give back all of the Solana and the Mango governance tokens that they've taken and give it back to them and kind of make all the users of that protocol whole or you know of Mango whole essentially they're putting the Mango team against the users now because obviously the users will want this to happen because they'll all become whole the Mango team are going to lose a significant amount of money this person is also going to get away with any criminal investigation or freezing of funds once the tokens are sent back. You know, also remember, this this person will only be sending MSOL, Sol and Mango. Uh, and so you've got this person getting away with all the USDC, the Bitcoin, ETH, the Tether uh, and all the other tokens as well. So they are going to still get away with, you know, maybe 50 to 70 million dollars worth of assets. Now, the interesting thing is in governance, especially in DeFi, the way that it normally works is one governance token is usually equivalent to one vote. And because this person has so much of the Mango governance token, well, they are able to vote. They are able to vote. And this person has 32 million tokens uh, and they voted all in favor of yes so you know really how can anyone compete against that it's uh, it's kind of a flawed system where you can basically buy yourself extra governance token votes um now I, I don't know what's going to happen it's going to be really interesting to see i'll kind of follow it up and see kind of what happens you know it's, it's quite sad especially when you read some of these comments from other users below where they're you know they're saying that yeah it's my fault for having too much money on mango but you know, they have lost significant uh, income, you know, I hope you know this, but many of us individual trading on Mango as a, you know, as a full time job, trying to generate income without be becoming corporate drones. Uh, and this affects our real lives. Uh, and you can see lots of people who have said similar things here. Pretty sad to see, but yeah, it's just a, a flawed system really of uh, kind of buying governance tokens. In this case, the, the user has exploited himself or herself into getting lots of governance tokens and then to just vote yes uh, on the proposal. It's almost like it's going to win. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, the I'm sure the Mango team are coming up with as many different ideas as possible, but it's a tricky one. It, it, you know, it really is a tricky one. So we'll kind of have to see what happens. Uh, another hack in the world of DeFi. It seems like there's one every single week these days. That's the bear market. Uh, I'm sure we'll all learn from this. We'll all try and make these protocols better. They will get better. Uh, it's just sad to see that, you know, so much money is lost um, with these exploits. So that's all I have for you today. Just want, wanted to talk about the Mango exploit and, of course, uh, this governance proposal issue as well um let's see kind of what happens in the near future so that's all i've got for you today make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with another video soon